Hello everyone. This video explains how to use the new version Antminer Digital Display Test Fixture. Let me first introduce the materials and tools you need to use when testing the hash board. 18P Hash Board Data Cable 4P Voltage Regulation Cable 6P Power Cord If it is inconvenient to connect during use, recommending to prepare another longer power cord. The new version hash board universal test fixture comes with SD card. Antminer S17 hash board. I will be demonstrating with this hash board. Cooling fan. When testing the hash board, be sure to cool the hash board, otherwise, the high temperature will damage the hash board. Card reader. For reading conversion files and test files. Alligator power supply cords. For connecting power supply and hash board. Portable screwdriver. For securing alligator power supply cords. A power supply. Since we are using an Antminer S17 hash board for our demo. We are using an APW9 Plus power supply here. Next, let's connect these cables first. First, we connect the 4P voltage regulator cable and the 6P power cord to the APW9 Plus power supply respectively. and then connect the alligator power cords to the power supply. When connecting, pay attention to distinguish the positive and negative poles. If the connection is reversed, the power supply will be burned. The outer side of the power supply is the positive pole, which is connected to the red cable. and the inner side is the negative pole, which is connected to the black cable. Plug in two national standard power cords. Connect the other end of the 4P voltage regulator cable to the test fixture. Then insert the 18P data cable. And finally connect the 6P power cord to supply power to the hash board. Remove the SD card and format it. Then copy the conversion file of the S17 hash board to the SD card. And insert it into the test fixture. Next. Turn on the test fixture switch. When the interface displays this screen, it means that the installation of the conversion file is successful. Or the indicator light flashes continuously for more than three times, which also means that the conversion file is installed successfully. 
Turn off the test fixture. Remove the SD card and format it. Then copy the test file of the S17 hash board to the SD card. And insert the test fixture. Turn on the test fixture switch and wait for the self-test. When the interface displays this screen, it means that the test fixture has completed the self-test. Next, start testing the S17 hash board. Remember to use a cooling fan to cool the hash board during the test. Connect the cables of the hash board. Insert the 18P data cable. Insert the 18P data cable. And connect the alligator clip power cords. Turn on the cooling fan. And press the test button of the test fixture. When the interface displays this screen, the hash board test has been completed. Well, this is how to use the new version Antminer test fixture. If you have any questions, please leave us a message. Thanks for viewing.